Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again. We're back again with another Patreon request, my friends. Zhao with Seshulu. Looking forward to this one, guys. Yes. Um, for January. It's weird, the translation. I'm taking it back to 2008. Let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these a little more possible. And yes, guys, although I am here and you see me reacting to videos, I'm fully not quite there yet in terms of my uh, settling down and getting all my things together so therefore my gofundme page is still active it'll probably be active for the rent for the remainder of the month um just to let you guys know and also take a look at my patrons uh patrons um tiers it's new and revamped and restructured um if you have any questions you could always uh inbox me and i can go in depth about it might hold the live stream just to you know get all the kinks out of the way um get everybody on the same page but take a look at it when you get a chance also um Take a look at my store, DerekRX.store, custom tees made for you, a lot of cool stuff. If you see something you like, grab it today. Follow and subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, and now TikTok, my friends. Without further ado, let's go. A lot of cursing. <laughs> What's going on now? I kind of like that. Steel pan drums, they sound like. Let's pause guys and discuss here. So 2000s, I always think about Nelly Furtado when it comes to this era, this time of music, you know, Justin Timberlake, that, that, that moment where we had all those similar sounds, um, Timberland, the beats and all those good things. Um, I like it. I think it's really smooth and I like, I, I, it sounds like steel pan drums. Um, they classify this as hip hop and I, I get why, but I would, I would put it more towards pop. Definitely. R&B swing pop, you know, and not even rap, even though she's probably trying to, 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 to do her best and make it sound like rap. It's not. Um, it's more, more pop, more of that Nelly Furtado-esque type of vibe. Um, honestly, what saves this thing is the instrumentation. But the thing is, these kind of songs, um, even though they sound good, very, very few of them can last well on to to be replayed again um um and that i mean like nanny Fratano, justin timberlake them being my favorites you know um was it a loose i think nelly Furtado's album that was such a great album it's just it's just a song that you hear and it's of its time and then okay you play it once and you're like yeah i remember that one right but this is pretty good let's continue <laughs>
chelou. Zaho, c'est chelou. C'est chelou. C'est chelou. Tout. Aïe, bi, bi, smooth. Like it. I like it. It's catchy, right? Um, it's straight to the point. It's not it's not cheesy, right? Which is a good thing. Um, the beats are fresh. She's pretty. Uh, I like her voice. Everything's good. Everything's good. Does it put me over the edge? Not necessarily. Um, you know, I, I think everything is smooth. I think everything is really, really good in this track. But it's not something that's gonna stun me. It's not gonna be something that's just gonna take me over over the edge. And I'm not I'm not expecting that to happen all the time, but Boy, when that happens, I go nuts. You know, you guys know that. Um, 2008, late 2000s, most definitely. Um, like I said before, reminds me a lot of those JT, even a little bit of um, Diam, a little bit of, of her. Um, um, and some of the some of these other artists that I've done to, French artists, who's that guy the, he's, he, that he looks like Justin Timberlake? <laughs> I kind of like went head over heels over him the, other, the, the last time I did a reaction of him. Kind of like falls in that genre of music. Um, the thing is with these kind of songs, like I've said before, there's really no exclamation point at the end. There's no, there's no, um, there's no drama. There's no, there's nothing that really puts me over the edge. And I feel like it's just another song of that era, of that time. Um, and, you know, that's, that's how I feel about it. Uh, let's see how this course uh, develops here. When you're joking in the studio, you're an idiot with the, with the Lydia's or the Myron's who tell you that you're cute. Apple of my eye, you see. One thing that can't stand, that I can't stand. She plays with my nerves. She keeps you. She will never love you more than me. You lie. I know when, when you squint, sometimes when you take your shower, she calls and it's me that, that I answer. She hangs up on me and the chorus repeats four times. Zao, it's weird. Maddox, it's weird. Majestic, it's weird. Everything, everything is weird. Catchy. Has all the bells and whistles of a good song. Not enough to put me over the edge. And I can't say that I'm a huge fan of it. But it's still good nonetheless. Let me know what you think about this one down below, guys. Until next time, for more videos like these, take care. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. Love you, guys. Peace.